Okay, first of all, I, I want to establish, uh, beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Now, who are these people talking about? Now, in context, this is Matthew 7, where Jesus continues to say, Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. And to do the will of the Father is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Meaning, have we not taught in the name of Jesus Christ? Have we not cast out devils in the name of Jesus Christ? Haven't they helped people overcome their addictions and their marital problems and uh, the, those sorts of things? And in thy name have done many wonderful works. They've done a lot of good things in the name of Jesus Christ. And then Jesus will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work in equity. All right, he's clearly talking, <clears throat> excuse me, he's clearly talking about those who believe that what they are doing is going to save them. It's not about what you do, it's about what was done for you. All right, very simple. All right, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. All right, so then also let me go to, oops, let me go to, uh, where was I at here? Um, let me go down here to uh, Colossians 2, Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Okay, so this is happening a lot. I've seen that happen a whole lot. In fact, there are more people teaching vain philosophy than the simple gospel of Christ. And, of course, Second Peter 2, uh, there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. These are the same people that Jesus is talking about here in Matthew 7. Okay. False teachers, false prophets, damnable heresies, and, of course, uh, you know, let me go through this again real quickly. Uh, you know, John 3, verse 16, that God so loved the world that whosoever believes in him shall not have, uh, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay. Whosoever believeth in him shall never perish, but have everlasting life. And now, um. Let's see, where am I at here? Let me find John 6. Okay, and let me scroll here a little bit. Let me find it here. There it is. Okay. Um, Jesus says, um, All that the Father gives me shall come to me, and him that comes to me I will in no wise cast out. So all that are born of the Spirit of God, Jesus will not cast out. So you're safe, you're sealed, you're secure forever. All right. Pretty simple, right? For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he has given me, I should lose nothing. So he's not going to cast you out, and you can't pull yourself away. Pretty simple, but should raise it up again at the last day. My Father, which has given them me, is greater than all. And no man shall pluck them out of my Father's hand. Let's see if I can find that box. Verse, my father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. So once you're saved, man, you're sealed. You can relax. You can have peace. 
All right. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. All right. Once saved, always saved is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Pretty simple stuff. Okay. Now I want to show you something here. Let's go to once saved, always saved. And let's uh, filter this to upload date. All right. And refudiation, 3 of 10, once saved, always saved. Okay. So somebody's going to talk about how the gospel of Jesus Christ is wrong. They're going to tell you that what Jesus did was not enough and that you have to obey the law. It's the same thing. These people hate the Lord Jesus Christ and what he has done. They hate the gospel of grace. Grace haters. All right, this guy is good. Parable of the lost sheep, coin, and son do not prove eternal security. We got another person doubting what Jesus has done, saying... That what Jesus did was not enough. you got to obey the law. These guys are seeking to put people under the law. And you put a question mark behind it. I'm going to assume you also against arguments, giving arrangements against the and for. Okay. I think that's supposed to be arguments. All right. And the roots of the false doctrine of once saved, always saved. So you're, what you're seeing, refutation of once saved, always saved. Okay. So what you're seeing here is um, dominance. People are once saved, always saved. This is a lie. People are against the grace of God. They're against the gospel of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and they're dominating uh, the YouTube circuit, right? All right, again, another person doubting the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Same person. He's just going all out, just going nuts on this stuff. All right. And this guy is good. And that guy is good. But you see, it's uh, a doctrine not worth the gamble. Don't gamble on Jesus. Gamble on yourself. You can do it. Well... No, you can't. And it's been proven over and over and over again. This guy's good right here. And I'm not sure about SDA. I'm not sure what's going on here. I, I would suggest that, yes, once saved, always saved. But anytime you put a but, no. uh, this gal is good here. So anyways, I just want to sort of scroll through this to kind of give you an idea. And there's a war going on. <laughs> people are, the, the enemy is out there to get people away from the grace of Jesus Christ and, and the works that he has done. And um, so I just wanted to share that with you. Let's see what this is. I, oh. Karen and Preston. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy. I agree with you. Uh, <laughs> all right. Thank you. All right. I'm sorry you have to agree with me. Very good. Okay. So that's enough. I just wanted to share with you that, hey, there's a war going on out there. There are people against the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I want to encourage you to make your own videos and to proclaim your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You can't do it yourself, as all these people, they want to say, you can do it. You don't need Jesus. That's why they're against once saved, always saved. They think, oh, I can just obey the law and I'll, I'll be saved. Oh, why do we, we don't need Jesus. We can do it ourselves. Well, uh, it's not going to work out for them. But there is a war going on and we can't help them. Um, but... Uh, we can help uh, the new believers, uh, the new, the young people that are coming to Christ. Uh, we can help uh, persuade them, if you will, and share with them the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, um, oh boy, 
why did that not come up? Huh, I don't know what happened there. Anyways, maybe I misspelled something. Um, the Jews say they have no king but Caesar, but we that are of God, we have a king, the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, good enough. <clears throat> 